Hello. I can imagine many of you know how to make a dome in a balloon by now. The trick is to have a solid plank with a hole in the middle. It could be a cake board. I like to use MDF board. Inflate. An 11 inch. If wished, inflate it a few times so it stretches even more. Grab the neck through the hole. And now push this firmly, firmly down. While, as you could see, this is deflating. We want the air to go out of this part as well. So we gently push till we get rid of all this air here. Now it's very important that we glue all this, we tape all this very well and all around. Any tape, any tape will do. As soon as all this is nicely, nicely taped all around, it is ready to be inflated. So here we go. You can inflate this as much as you wish, creating a perfect half a dome. I could create this way over 20 years ago for a competition in Birmingham. And many colleagues came and asked, how, how did you do that? How did you do that? And each time I explained that you needed a very, very sharp knife and that you had to cut it very, very gently in two to get this effect. Funny thing is, plenty of them <laughs> believed it. It took them a few seconds to rate. That can't be. <laughs> well, here you go. That is how easy it is to make a dome. But how easy would it be to fill it up with material? So what if, for instance, you would like to put some money, some confetti, or a little bear, or flowers, or anything else inside a balloon? You can no longer push this down so it would flip over the side. I will show you how I do it. Let's pre-stretch this balloon. I have this tool that I can use to stretch the balloon to make it easier on me to fill it up. So let's put in some confetti. Some money. And then let's try to squeeze this little bear, which I, by the way, attached with some nylon line. I hope I can push all this in. Hey ho, hey ho, yep, yep, there he goes. So as you understand, I would not be able to push this down because there's too much material here. It never would flip over the, the sides. What I need is something with a hole in the middle. Any shape of plank with a hole in the middle will do perfectly. You'll understand in a second. Ready to inflate. A 
I take the neck through the plank, making sure that I keep hold of the nylon. And now I can start pushing and deflating. Up, up. And yeah, here we go. So the void that I created here was perfect to push this through. And now I have all this on the other side, which I now have to start taping off as before. Yeah. And again, I create my dome. I can position the little bear nicely in the middle because I had this nylon line attached and now I simply can tie this off to close everything. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you see the possibilities with feathers, snowflakes, styrofoam, anything you want inside this dome. So, nothing inside or plenty of material filled inside. I hope I was able to teach you something today. Thanks for watching.